Hello everyone and welcome back to Meals in the Making. I'm super glad that you've joined us for this episode. Unfortunately, I don't have my trusty sous chef today. He's actually at work. Our theme for this week is gonna be pizza. Everything is super, super simple, has only a few ingredients, and it's gonna be something that you're gonna to wanna to remember. So let's get to the recipes. Our first recipe is called Chicken Alfredo Pizza. And for it, you will need one cauliflower crust. As far as I'm concerned, there is two program approved cauliflower crusts. This is the cauliflower crust. You can get them online and I will leave their information down below. This is not sponsored. And the other one that I know of is called Outer Isle from, I believe, Whole Foods. But I don't know what the actual condiments or any of that is on it. However, the cauliflower crust count as half a lean in all three of your greens. So it's a really good way to get in your greens if you're somebody who doesn't love them. You will also need some skinless, boneless chicken breast. I have this problem where all of my chicken become freezer burned because I can't get the bag to seal all the way, so I just take one or two out and put them in a Ziploc bag and do it that way. But you will need three ounces of cooked, boneless, skinless chicken breast. You will also need some Alfredo sauce. You're going to be using about a fourth a cup of this, and it is the light Classico Creamy Alfredo sauce. As far as I'm concerned, this is the only one that's program approved, but I could be wrong. And then of course you'll need some salt and pepper just to season your chicken. The first thing I've done is preheated my oven to 400 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and get my cauliflower crusts in the oven. They need to go in for about five to seven minutes on each side. While that's going though, I am cooking up some chicken breast. Don't mind the one in the back, that's Robbie's dinner. But this one is mine that's just seasoned with a little bit of salt and pepper, not too, too much. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this off in just a second once it's finished and just chop it up into little, I guess you could call them smaller cubes. So I'm just about to pull my cauliflower crust out of the oven. I've put it in there for about five and a half minutes. You'll see I have it on some wax paper. You can also do it on one of those like slitted or the pizza pans that have a hole in the bottom of or several holes in the bottom of them. Either of them work. So I'm about to pull this out and flip it over and then cook it for another five and a half minutes. This is a difficult part because a lot of times this thing likes to fall apart. And if it breaks in half, you get two little pizzas. Not that big of a deal. And flip. Came apart a little bit, but not too bad. I don't really like my pizza to be super crunchy. If you do, you can keep this in a little bit longer when you're first cooking the crust. And I'm going to throw it back in the oven for another six minutes this time. Okay, so it's now been in the oven on each side for at least five and a half minutes. You can see it's a little messed up, that's okay. Um, I'm now gonna take my one fourth a cup of the light Alfredo sauce. Again, this is the Classico brand. I like to have a little bit of a crust, so I'm not gonna put it all the way to the edge, but you do what you like. It doesn't seem like much, only a fourth of a cup, but then you see it all out like this, and I'm gonna spread it around. It's actually gonna work pretty perfectly. Now I'll add on my three ounces of cooked chicken breast. Just anywhere you can see my pan is starting to kind of fly around. Perfect. And then lastly, I'm going to pour my two tablespoons of reduced fat Parmesan cheese on there. I think I may have forgotten to say that in the ingredients. Now this is gonna go back in the oven for about five to six minutes just so all this kind of melts on top of each other and the edges can crisp up just a little bit more. And here's our finished product. All the cheese is nice and melted. The chicken has browned a little bit more on top and the edges are nice and crispy, just like I like them. So this was super simple, only had a couple ingredients and only took about 20 minutes to make. That's how these pizzas are supposed to be. They're supposed to be super simple and just kind of on the go. So this pizza consists of one lean, three green, and three condiments. You will still need one healthy fat if you haven't already used it throughout the day. So I hope you've enjoyed this one and I can't wait for you to see the next pizza we're making. Hey everyone, let's get to this second recipe. As you can see, I'm in different clothes. It's actually Wednesday, so I'm gonna make this recipe, eat it, and also edit it all tonight. So when you see this tomorrow, I will have just made this the night before. That's why I love this week's because it's super simple. When I don't have time to meal prep on Sundays, like this past Sunday, it's something that I can whip up quickly on the day of. So this next recipe I'm talking about is called chicken ranch pizza, or ranch chicken pizza, whichever one you want. Let me tell you what's in it. 
Of course, I'm starting with my cauliflower cauliflower pizza crust in the original flavor. Two tablespoons of light Hidden Valley Ranch. You can also use two tablespoons of any other light ranch recipe. 1.5 ounces of boneless skinless chicken breast and a fourth a cup of shredded low moisture part skim mozzarella cheese. So of course I'm preheating my oven to 400 degrees. I'm then going to put this in the oven for about seven minutes. Last time I did it, it was a little bit soft and I want it to be able to be flipped. So I'm going to put it in there for seven minutes and then I'll flip it to the other side and bake it for five minutes. I'm then taking the chicken, which I've seasoned with a little bit of salt and pepper, not too much. I'm putting it in a small pan and I'm going to cook this until it's all the way cooked through. And then I'm gonna use 1.5 ounces on this to top my pizza. So when it's finished, I'm gonna chop it up to little, into little cubes. Okay, so as you can see, I have flipped it. You can tell because there's a couple holes in it. I really need my sous chef here. He's working late today, so that's okay. Um, I am now going to add all of my toppings. I'm going to first start with my two tablespoons of light ranch. You know, it seems like two tablespoons isn't a lot, but when you look at how big this tablespoon actually is and how much ranch you're getting in it, it's actually not bad. I'm then going to take a small spoon and make sure I've kind of spread this around so it gets a good amount of the pizza. See, it goes a lot farther than you think. I'm then going to take my chicken and kind of sprinkle that over the top. Like I said, this is 1.5 ounces of chicken. It's already been cooked. And then I'm going to take my fourth a cup of cheese and sprinkle that over the top. Perfect. This is now going to go back into the oven for another five to seven minutes, depending on how crisp you like your pizza. Personally, I'm going to put mine on six minutes. So here's a good look at our pizza. Looks pretty delicious. I'm about to cut into it and have my one Coke Zero for the day while watching my favorite show, Grey's Anatomy. They just put season 14 on Netflix and I'm geeking out a little bit. If you are too, leave that down in the comments. Anyway, so this pizza is one lean, three green, and three condiments. You will need one healthy fat if you haven't already used it. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I really hope you enjoyed these easy pizza recipes. They're both my favorites. I do make a couple different other ones, and if you'd like to see those, please comment down below. Other than that, I think that's it for this week's episode of Meals in the Making. If y'all have something that you'd like to see made program approved, please drop that in the comments and I'll do my very best to make a rendition of it that is program approved. I also wanted to tell you to look out for a new video that's going to be coming out soon. I'm going to be doing how I prep my fueling. So I do something a little bit different than just grabbing out of the box in the morning. And if you're interested in that, be looking around maybe Sunday or Monday. Just be watching the channel. The best way to know when those videos are coming is to click the subscribe button and also click the little bell that lets you know when I post so you can see exactly when that video comes out. I post all kinds of Optavia fueling hacks and meals that I make and yeah, just a little bit of my journey. I also do some vlogging too, but thank you guys so much for watching today and we'll see you next time. Oh, oh.